Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 39. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 20th of January, 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back to Starfinder. It's Chapter 8. Here are the players. Hello. <laughs> I'm Nico. I'm Point Zora, US Captain. Good. Hello. I am Alex, and it's Nick's five, right? Nick's five. The Android. Look mechanic. at your screen, Alex. I, which one? The one with roll twenty. Oh, okay. Yes. I five. couldn't have made it easier five. for you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a credit screen. Um, yes, I play Nick's five, the Burning Sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yep. Okay. Is enough. that your intro? <laughs> that's it. That's good it. Enough. Okay. That's what you get. <laughs> new year, new me. Okay. No um, junk, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Colin. The dead speak. The galaxy has heard a mysterious broadcast, a threat of revenge, and the sinister voice of the late Emperor Palpatine! <laughs> so we'll spoil You've been spoiled you stole just... my intro! <laughs> anyway, I ah! yeah, wanted to get that out of the road. Um, hi, I'm Colin. I, <laughs> I play Lyco Quint. He is your resident... Evil. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> Sneaky, stabby, all together, something. The Adams family. Uh, yeah, uh, he's like a rogue, but in space. Spoke. Sure. Um, Callum, that's oh. your turn. Yes, okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. I am Zig. <laughs> Played by Callum. The mystical, wondrous rat of space. Now, is Callum the rat of space? Or is Zig the rat of space? That's up for debate. Okay. Hmm. Speaking of debate, what happened Speaking last time? <clears throat> um, vengeance. Okay. Kind of. Okay. We fought a wee, wee dragon lad, and mm -hmm. uh, we won a bit. Tanked him. Mm -hmm. Only a bit. We come to the woodshed and said, here's some fucking wood, mate, deal with it. Sure. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> Does, really? To be honest. <laughs> Does it, though? Does it? Wow. Well, um, but... There was a creepy lady in a tree, and then the tree released the lady, and the lady was like, ah, oh, heck. And then there was a dragon man, mm. and Nyx just took whatever the dragon man had, and the <laughs> creepy lady decided to chop him in half, and then called it a day. Just to be clear, she wasn't in the tree. <laughs> well, not inside the tree, no, but she was, no. you know. In the tree, it was, it was all connected. <laughs> <laughs> this is Zig Gently, holistic space mystic. <laughs> oh yeah, that's I'd actually like that. I think that would be good. That's your next gimmick. Yeah, um. just holistic <laughs> space mystic. If you just turn your back to space and throw some salt over your shoulder, <laughs> make a wish. <laughs> oh dear, ridiculous. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Go to the sun at night because that's when it's coolest, obviously. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's clever. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, so tree, lady, no tree, dragon, no dragon, away. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> and some pushing that's of That's how egg. I remember it. Dragon, no dragon, away, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, let's talk about goals. Always leave it. Sorry. Uh, I know. I need to change my, my wording for goals because every time I say that for my Friday game as well, that's what they do. 
You're in Every the time I touch you, feel the feeling. <laughs> yeah, if it's do. I don't remember the likes. So, Zora. Uh, <laughs> don't know if you uh, want to word that better. Maybe not in verse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that about better? Uh, We're getting closer to Link. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, be Link, do crimes. What would my goal be? Um, retrieve ship. Somehow. You know, because we're on a different planet right now. Pretty sure. That's right, are it? But I'm. We step through the gate to apparently, supposedly, you, step, you stepped into the gate. Starfinder Tatooine. I mean, you didn't step out of the gate, right? Yeah. We uh, we went through the thing, and then we were somewhere else, probably. Yeah, I think the last shot of it was um, your new best drow lady friend saying "fuck you, sister," and then walking through the gate. I believe was the last shot. Zig, can you confirm? I can confirm. Good man. Confirm. Because that was dramatic. Once. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Your words, not mine. <laughs> what what can I say except... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need that boat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's alright, right. You were stuck in the vault. You've got an egg. And a new drow friend. And you've left... Mm. The vault mm -hmm. is as far as you know. Mm -hmm. So, sure. what is your goal? Mm. <laughs> what is my goal? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we've had since the 11th of December to think about these because we've clearly only ever thought about Starfinder. Right? I know I have. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Mm. Uh -huh. I'm trying uh -huh. What would um, my immediate goal be? Fuck budgets get money. Um, <laughs> I, I, there we go. Actually, reconvene on the ship and tell the party about Demogesh because they don't know about that yet, right? I've not spoken about that yet, right? So I don't think that's been a thing. Get back to the final hour and debrief. The crew. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's the a good one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can do with that one. Next five. You are muted. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> are we muted? Slam. Lies and slander. Or are we um, uh, mm, What are we doing? Oh, uh, that's okay. what I'm kind of. That is the question. Here. Yeah, yes. like what's the goal here? What's the the agenda? The approach? The vector? <laughs> Get to the section. The tangent. <laughs> yeah. The guilty spark. Yeah, three, four, three. Hmm. <laughs> as much. I've reclaimed SK's corpse. I suppose dignified air locking of S Kate. Or however she wants to be buried. Okay. So just like in a bottom. So like put S Kate's remains to rest, I guess? Something like that? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Although the way you've worded your goals is slightly more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if this what you've uh... Dignified airlocking of SK resurrection question mark. <laughs> Let's hope Mark knows the answers. Uh, yep. Lyco? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't think anything needs to change. I think uh I think uh <laughs> the is our immediate threat. Um I don't know, I feel like do you want to read your goal out word for word? If yes, that's even a word. I do. Oh someone had changed it to find <laughs> means to kill humanity. <laughs> and I can't remember how to spell Hamani. Okay. Uh, Even so though it's in red how many, at the side. Find means to, to kill a Hamani, Hamani roads must a man walk down. <laughs> <laughs> Hamani roads must a man walk down. 
what do you call him a man? If only I'd um, said his last name was Rhodes, that'd have been glorious. Yeah, then he could be uh, part of uh, the great wrestling dynasty. Yeah. Or, or not. Just James Rhodes, you know. Uh, so, hmm. do, you want, do you want to maybe make it a, an achievable goal? Um, you I don't mean great spelling? Yeah, mostly that. To be honest. How's he spelled? I can't remember. It's in It's red. right there. Is it? To the left. In ideas. Under God's name. I don't look at ideas. I always look at ideas. <laughs> Ernest, I am mostly That's because that's where you put all of your goals, Cam. <laughs> I like this red. It's my, it's my quest very log. very nice red. Oh, I actually did oh. put Be Gay Do Crimes in it. That was me. I, I, well, I know. <laughs> it's there. It's still there waiting to be completed. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. Mm-hmm. Could it's be a party goal. It's a new year, a new age rating certificate. Um, age is just a certificate. Sure. Fine means to kill Hermione. So seems legit. Yeah, it seems 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 important. Yeah. Iconic. Um. Yeah, no, I, th- I think that is like he's 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 a, he's an obstacle for people that don't want big bad void dragons to be a problem. I feel like you're becoming a soundbite sometimes, Colin. I think that would be your superhero name. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure, fuck it, why not? It was that or Zeitgeist, but no, nobody wanted that. Um, Zeitgeist would be a great name if you were like a ghost with time-based powers, but I'm neither of those <laughs> things. Not yet. And therefore. <laughs> Uh, Zig. A witch. Yes. Do you wear such as a duck? <laughs> oh. She's made of witch, yeah. yeah. So she's a witch. <laughs> Speaking of witches. Zig. Speaking of witches. Speaking of witch. Yes. This is, it's yes. happening. It's happening. It's definitely it's happening. happening. Confront. I should have worded this better, to be fair. But. Mm-hmm. Confront Captain about rolling in crew. Rolling in crew. I'm not going to roll it's in crew. It's actually about rolling crew. I murdered them all. Keep rolling. Uh, roll in crew, yes. Um, I like how we remember And come to terms with Melting Boys, but he's definitely come to terms with Melting Boys, so that's all right. Okay. It's all, it's so all that part's done. Just the other part. So done. yeah. Just confront He's going to roll them. around in the crew after <laughs> slaughtering them. After she's melted them, I guess. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Going, what have I done? Buy Roll. me more jewellery. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I yeah. think we have goals. That wasn't as painful as it felt. Um. <laughs> 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 Dear gods. Uh, right. So, in the game, user in the portal space. Please don't sponsor them. And it's. We're in gate space, right? Everyone is um, space. having various forms of nausea. There is a um, okay. gates. Yeah, sure. Lots of gates flying past you <laughs> as you a uh, vortex your way. <laughs> Doctor <in>. Gate. <laughs> Doctor Gate. That's his name. <laughs> that name again is <laughs> Doctor Gate. <laughs> uh, how did we get through thirty-eight sessions? I think I've said this did like we? the last ten. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, you're going through this really vortexy thing, and then use crash land into a rapid temperature change. So remember the horrible, sweaty, humid vault atmosphere, the clingy, clammy heat, a bit like a jungle. That all goes away, and there is a very cool, edging on cold kind of air that grips around everyone as you say land onto you know some kind of solid ground beneath you so it's dark all around you as per all edgy scenes and you seem to be in what looks like cavernous ruins some of my favourite kinds of ruins I do like ruins hmm Ruins. I'm a ruin boy. Ruins. Is that a throwback to your uh, druid there, Nico? <laughs> yeah, ruins. That goddamn bullshit level spell. <laughs> 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 I 
Das ist auch nice. Crazy. <coughs> so. so. What can we see? Um, well, since I know most, <laughs> if not Just all, truth. can see in the dark, um, yeah, it looks like if you took an underground castle and then trashed it a bit. I'm oh. muted. Yes. I'm good at this. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Nix 5.0, or 5.1 I should say. I think I'll yep. like 5.0 back. Let's uh, roll back the update. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, let us... Did we say you were walking about in these ruins? Uh, you aren't yet, but you can do if you want, yeah. Are there any... Can I assess the area for immediate environmental hazards? That... The rant might step in. Um, it doesn't. It seems to be. Hmm, how to word this? No, no pools of poisonous. To be fair, pools in general are bad for the rat, right? So that's true. Yes. Yeah, I've got a large puddle would just. Yeah, you know, it's just right off. A bit large puddle. Like one of them ended up pushing him through time, so that's always dangerous. <laughs> 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 um, as it as it does, you know. Yeah, the if you have a look around, and then if I think everybody's got decent night vision, right? Except Zora. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, Fortunately, got... he has a mobile phone. Yeah, all comms devices. I'm gonna have. say if he if he wants to see in the dark, I've got. Just I've got... shit to so provide the limit. The thing that provides the yeah. the immediate source of light right now would have been the door that disappeared behind you guys as you exited, and also the egg. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the egg's a big boy, so yes. oh yeah, that's that gives off some light, which kind of lets you obviously comfortably see each other if we all had normal eyesight. Um, but yeah, you look around; it looks like like a welcoming hall, for lack of a better term, or it might have been a welcoming hall once, and like lots of huge pillars, like broken over statues, staircases going to nowhere <coughs> anymore, like. Yeah, looks huge. You could probably have parked the eleventh hour in here. There's just that big and cavernous. Okay. But parts of the palace are definitely built into the stonework, if that makes sense of a cave. So it's been like either carved out of the existing rock or put into it. So yeah, looks like uh. An underground castle. I see, hopefully. Yeah. Hmm. Is that Zig's input there? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Zig Zig's. Hmm. Uh, uh, is Queen Lady? Obviously, Queen Lady's really. Queen Lady. Yeah. yeah. She's behind you. Yeah. Uh, any my idea what this is? <laughs> you see her, she's just kind of standing with her, like, palm on the egg. Okay. Zig's, like, watching her, like, very intensely. And I think, like, are you trying to, like, do it stealthily, or are you trying to do it, you know... I think it's absent-mindedly. Um, well, not absent-mindedly, but kind of um, automatic and kind of thing. You know, it's the egg, man. It's my... It's my... C -c -c oh, boy. Yeah. And um, I think if you're staring at her, then she'll kind of like regard you, and then just kind of like smile kind of warmly at you briefly, and then like kind of look back at her hand that's on the egg, and then just lift it off eventually. And then did Andy actually address her directly? Sorry, was it you, Nico? Yeah, I, I would have more of a to her, she actually like registered that it was aimed at her. It's a different question. Yeah, I don't think she paid attention. Mostly because I don't remember what you said. So okay, she was mostly uh, looking at the egg and then <laughs> looked at Zig. Uh, so you say, any idea what, where we are? Uh, yeah, any idea where we are. And then, like, when she doesn't react, I would just say, Your Highness. I think that snaps her attention, definitely. Um, 
You definitely know how to play her strings. Um, <laughs> see, you'd make a good husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, I actually had to go way back in my notes to remember her goddamn name. Cause that what is was... her name actually? I can't remember. Well, you've not asked her her name, but I needed to know what it was. All right. Because I don't think I say it at all. Zig can confirm this, right? Yeah, well, it wasn't mentioned last last thingy, so. Yeah. yeah. Rude. To be fair, yeah, you are. Um, <laughs> you mostly just. I was very, very polite. You were actually. She was actually like. She seemed very enamoured with um, Zig. She obviously pretty much dealt with you, Michael. Um, she obviously had that, like, I was going to say hung back conversation, but that seems wrong. She had that slightly sneakier conversation with Nix5. Uh, from last time, mm. and then obviously, and I deserve. yeah, and I uh, obviously Zora kept making passes at her for marriage, so trying to become Vesk royalty, I guess, or like Joy royalty as a Vesk. But tried to part of the great Joy Vesk alive. Yeah, so she, she looks up at your uh, address of your far, highness, right? and she says. Yes, sorry. We are in my home. Or at least what's left of it. And she kind of like looks around, kind of sad looking. Um, as if this wasn't what she was kind of expecting to walk back into. <laughs> and... I think she walks past Zig and kind of like ruffles his hair a bit. I don't know how Zig responds to that, just, but she just like does I that. Think his, like, I think his nose just twitches and he kind of um just scurries off to go be near Nyx. And she's got like you know those like very like manicured but sharp nails that she's got, so it's that proper mm. good head scratch that you get at the back of you like Oh he falls asleep then. You should cast sleep manually. Um, <laughs> um no, yeah, you'll 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 run off and um, just kind of be near Nick. I don't think he'll climb up Nick because I think he's a bit intimidating in his super duper power armor. Yeah, fucking spell just nonsense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dear. And holding this corpse. Yeah, that yeah. too. It's, it's a bit. <laughs> it's a strong, strong scene. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Powerful. I like it. Um, I was waiting for Colin to scream, and uh, yeah. But <laughs> I would never scream. <laughs> that seems to come uh, yeah, so I I probably like completely apart, and I I would I would ask. Uh, so yeah, where where is your home? And she kind of over her shoulder, and she's still trying to take in like the room and the kind of the damage to the room. She um, turns back over her shoulder and says, "Castravel," and then the camera does that thing where it zooms way 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 out. All the way up to orbit. Strike. Yeah. Thank you for your throwback. <laughs> and uh, we're obviously in Castrovel. Okay. Hmm. Now, is Castrovel somewhere I would be surprised to discover her living? Because it's not their world, right? That's it's the not... come from. Is it? I thought they were from. Yeah. The drow kind of bugged off to. Yeah, thingy bobber. Yeah, but this way they came Spooky world. Spookestra, or whatever it's called. Spookestra. Spook <laughs> a a party, isn't it? it's, it's Goth land. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Um, it is pretty much exactly what you said. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that makes sense that Goth an land. older drag queen would be, uh, would be attached to their, perhaps her ancestral lands. Mm -hmm, right. Yeah, so that that isn't something that I would be surprised to learn. Cool. Yeah. In that case, I will simply nod. Um, as you said, she then kind of like looks and goes, I understand this isn't quite the destination you'd hoped for, but I should be able to arrange transport for you. She's kind of saying that with like her back turned to the group, kind of mm -hmm. still looking around the place, and she just starts to like walk forward into the, the cavern. Uh... You may have found that things have changed somewhat. What do you remember? 
and then she kind of like stops that and then kind of like half turns back to you our dress kind of like catching the the night vision of your eyes i guess and uh she says yes it seems a great deal has changed since my imprisonment this is unfortunate but nothing that can't be rebuilt Mm -hmm. Do we read anything into rebuild? Imperial ambitions. Do you want to roll some insight? Yeah, actually, sense motive. Yeah. Can I sense motive? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> we will. That's pretty bad for me. Just, yeah. Like, what do you think she means by that? Either, either well, Lyco or Colin. As Colin, obviously, my initial thing is like, is this a plot hook? Is she suggesting that she's going to sort of rebuild her great golden age, you know, golden age golden of the egg. empire? Um, it's done. The golden age of the golden knights of the golden egg. Done. You know, <laughs> is she going to broadcast the? Uh, uh, no, uh, or, or or is this just literally? She's speaking about like literally rebuilding her home, taking back over her role. Or is she sort of... Because I think Lyco is paranoid enough that... Because you got to remember, she's a royal, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever his attitude towards the drow, the drow have a reputation for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, and here she and I think she's just would... like, like pricking up her ears, being like, oh, that bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I, think, I think he would understandably be somewhat sceptical of them. And I think as, as a result, there's, there's possible... Possibly a, a, a an alternate reading of that comment. You could be like, "Is this the villain giving? Is this the bit where Dracula says, I don't drink wine?' You know, mm -hmm. is is she giving something away by saying, you know, rebuild? Is this is this a a, 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 a statement of of ambition? Say, um, but obviously with nineteen, not a particularly great role. So if she was sort of being sly. Basically, you can decide, reading. you tell me what Lyco thinks based on the fact that it's a 19, because you never rolled high enough for me to tell you, so. Sure. I think I think Lyco is just kind of like, hmm, that could be read a couple of ways. I don't yeah. think he gets anything definitive from that. I don't think he's... Yeah, more just like, I don't know how to take this yet, because I don't know her yet, type of idea. I think he instinctively kind of trusts her, because she seems like someone who is very bound by a specific code. Mm. Which is so that far. Yeah. means someone that you can sort of rely on and maybe predict a little. Yeah, because I mean, she was very specific about her wording when she was mm -hmm. trying to make the agreement with you um, two sessions ago, one session ago, I forget. Two yeah. sessions. I think it was two, yeah. Only two sessions. Or, well, two uh, two sessions and one. I think it continued sort mm -hmm. of. Yeah, because her last kind of like. I think it was the two because I think at the end of that one, that's when she said, burn the tree. And that was our big dun 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 moment, and then we started with. Then you where the we did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I definitely feel like he has this sort of impression of her, and he's not necessarily really anything negative into it. Mm -hmm. But I think that's got to be something that sort of hovers in the background, a possible as a possibility. You know, yeah. she is royal. Does she have royal ambitions? I think so. Yeah. I think it's a it's a valid concern, but again I think a lot of it's maybe lost in the fact that she also just looks really sad. You know? Yeah. Um what is everybody else doing at this point when this exchange goes on and then Lyco just squints a bit at her? Or quints a bit at her is maybe a better term. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, well, I'd definitely have been listening in that. Uh Shocking behaviour. And how would you propose to get his transport off of this planet? Do you still think that you would have contacts in this day and age? Just remind me, which date is it? What day is it? That beats me. I have no idea. <laughs> Can I check I my? Check I my don't know space time. Star date. 
after which whatever the starting year is plus one. <laughs> that. <laughs> is it like three thousand and eighteen at the start? Is it not? Uh, let me find out. Did we ever actually go over that? I don't remember. Three hundred eighteen. Yeah. So we're three hundred post. It's actually just. Yeah. It's it's just in the timeline. Because Nick's five was born in three hundred. Emlyn was born in two eighty five. Oh, oh yeah, yeah so it's three eighteen. Yeah, so it's three nineteen. Yeah, so we are we're three nineteen. Yeah. The year three nineteen. Sorry, it started in three seventeen, so it's now three eighteen. Okay. Because three eighteen is listed as the future. Ah. On the timeline. Wow, we're in the future. We're in the future now. So we're we're in the future. Guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> There's no Happy New Year. <laughs> um, yeah. So, who answers her? Sorry, uh, that, 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 mixed by matter factly. Yeah. Rattles off. It seems. So she's looking at Zora. She says, "Obviously, you remind me what date is it." And then I just wonder if I just thought I would even go off the same date. Like, <laughs> that's a good point. Did he? <laughs> just... I mean. Is is the vest calendar like a countdown towards victory rather than a countdown? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe that it's uh, free. I think if they haven't conquered a new race, it's not a new year. So <laughs> <laughs> every time oh, actually, that countdown idea, I'm going to fucking steal for a future I Should... a future IP, please. So anyone listening, OC, please don't steal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it's. 319 in this system. 18. 18. 18. I like to believe that Nick's corrects you. <laughs> See, that, that fits. Yeah. <laughs> because 318 what? She just shakes her head like... AG? Is it AG? After the gap AG. or something? Yeah. After gap. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you mentioned this gap. How long was the gap? Well, hmm. no one knows. That's why, that's, it's a, that's why it's the gap. She just she screws up her face like somebody that isn't trying to look annoyed that you're being unhelpful. So, yeah. And the then thing about she, gaps. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, she looks at Zora and says, "Unfortunately, based on the information available, I'm unable to answer your question." Well, it's about hmm, two hundred AD in my system. After domination. I see. After domination of what? The system, of course. Which system? The Great Viscario. Where is that? Uh, the Viscario. Something too far Sorry. Um, Can I pass my computer tablet over to her with a little galaxy map? With the two highlighted. Okay. And she like, kind of looks at it kind of quaintly without touching it. And she goes, And where is it you wanted to go? And she like gestures to like obviously the fact that Castro Val's there. Either get into our ship or get in some that we can contact our ship would be a start. My oath was to return you to Akaton, which I believe, and she kind of like looks at the planets, squints her head a little and then like, points to the one she thinks is Akaton. Which is right. Yep. Um, Good nod. And this is where your ship is? Um, unfortunately not. But there's a slight complication with that. We can't go near the planet that our ship is orbiting currently. And why is this? Um, some Viscarium... She puts her hand up just to stop you talking instantly. She goes, in fact, <laughs> let's look for somewhere more comfortable to have this conversation. And she just walks off into, like, the cavern, like, towards, like, a half-broken staircase. Uh, so you have probably, yeah. like, she gets to the point where if nobody instantly follows her, you probably have a bit of time where you could maybe say some stuff in private, maybe without her hearing, if you wanted to, before you catch up to her or abandon her. I just look at the group and sort of shrug. I'm a die roll. Royalty. They scream. 
<laughs> That's in character. Um, Darth uh, like practices his new laugh. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Um. Follow. I follow. Yep. I'm sure it's yeah, next super comfy. comfy. Who's uh, taking the egg? Or are you just leaving it? Egg! Taking the egg. The egg's yeah, not leaving my one. sight. I don't know if I can carry it, but I'm not leaving the egg. <laughs> it's a big egg. It is a big egg. Like, I think you could probably roll it, but you probably couldn't get it up the stairs yourself. Like, Hold on, have I got some sort of levitation spell or something? I don't think I do. Rubbish. Psycho can at least strangulate the egg up the stairs. Up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't think you'll be able to crush it, so it probably fine. <laughs> Imagine he did and he just literally just cracked it open and goo poured out. <laughs> Zuga! I drink the goo. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> goo drinks you. Zuga! <laughs> Stare not too long into the goo. For it Less the goo. Into Back into. Does the egg count as a creature? That's a debatable question by many. Wow. Yeah, that's. <laughs> You've kind of wow. hit into something there. It's philosophy right there. <laughs> Why do you ask the question? Well, it's like if I put it in a life bubble because that follows me. Um, and then <laughs> just come with me up the stairs and I could have a. <laughs> Following floating Quick, 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 let's settle the abortion debate using spells. <laughs> Can it target an unborn child? <laughs> oh my god. First session oh, no. of the new year. This Sorry, is... have I just ruined everything again? I... <laughs> <laughs> In my defence, it's his fault because he basically puts the same question just less awfully. Is that right, his okay. fault, though? I feel like you yeah. chose the word that you chose. <laughs> nah, it's not my fault. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, in the our game, uh, you're either going to be rolling it very poorly, or somebody will need to help you. And probably to lift it upstairs, there'll need to be three of you probably working on it for coordination. Guys, is what what are we going to do with the egg? I'll I roll. I guess I'll help. <laughs> My ear grab. Yes. Ziggs recovered well from his weird time jank journey. <laughs> oh no, that was Callum air grabbing. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, yeah. Ziggs has really done wonders with his ability to process. Why well, don't <laughs> ignore it and it'll go help. away? I'll just not. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, she starts heading up the stairs anyway by this point. She's like, it's almost like a kind of split level room that you're in. So big cavernous area at the front, split level at the back, and it's almost the same size at the back as well. And she just like climbs the stairs and then starts to walk again further back. She seems to know where she's going, so that's a plus. Always. That's that's what you like to see. Mm. Um. I mean, I, as I say, I think I think it makes sense for the people moving it to be those three, because. Zig will want to do it, the other two are strong. <laughs> Although next five has arms full of corpse still. Oh god. Uh yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. I should help instead. Fine, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll do it. Fuck it. Maybe I'll, is it maybe the scene where you go to shrug walk off and then Zig goes, but the egg and then maybe Zig looks up at Nix Five. Nix five goes mm -mm. Or whatever the electronic equivalent of that is. The modem mm -hmm. startup noise. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, maybe that's when Lyco realizes, ah, okay, because I mean Lyco could just take the body, right? And then the awkward egg could be moved by the stronger person, but I could. I mean, I just I, I, I don't know if would would next relinquish the corpse. <laughs> this is my pet now. <laughs> um. Oh, Ivan. <laughs> yeah, to one of you who would. Yeah, I... uh, yeah. But would I think to ask him to do it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's say I do. 
Okay then, you do. Cool. I, 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 I gesture to, uh, <laughs> I gesture to the egg, and see. Uh, perhaps you'd be. Politely. The hello egg. Uh, perhaps, per, perhaps you'd <laughs> Mr. be. Mr. Uh, Quint. More, more use with that than I would. Okay. You best carry us, Kate. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Holds out his arms. I place her gently into his arms. As soon as you turn your back, he's like slinging her over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the egg, I go. Yeah. And then you just follow after the queen. Yeah. Cool. Off you go. There's probably a really comedic scene here where you try and get it up the stairs that are all broken. Um, do you want to give me some athletic checks, maybe? Everybody involved in the scene? That isn't well. Lifer who's just carrying a body, I guess. I mean... Let's do this! Uh, Oof! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Nick's just <clears throat> punts it. Oh, that's <laughs> that's Welcome good. to that's 2020. Good yeah. <laughs> 27, yeah, 20, 27, 27, that's, that's a big 27s. This is some big egg game. Mm. Yeah, that's strong, strong going, guys. Mm -hmm. strong. Nicely done. Um, and also probably the exact same type of dynamic that happened last time the three of you rolled on the egg, I think, as well. Mm. Zig was also there. Rolled on um, the egg. Yeah. <laughs> um, Just imagine them like, like, <laughs> taking turns on top of the egg. Whee! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Like the eggs day out. Um, anyway, so you set up, you follow the, the queen through like a big kind of long corridor, and it goes down through the back of the big cavernous room, and quarters get very kind of tight and enclosed, and it's a bit more like, what's the word, narrow, I guess, I'd like to push the egg through these parts. Um, like, is somebody going to go in front? Are people staying behind? I assume Nix will be behind to help push. Um, oh, maybe he's exit the front to try and guide. Yeah, with with Zora. Yeah, maybe yeah. he's trying to guide it from the front. And then, um, yeah, it gets pretty pretty close quarters. You can get it through with some really really uncomfortable scraping noises. I guess. My favorite yeah. kind of scraping. Yeah. Ooh. I assume next did you go? Sorry, not next. Sorry, Lyco. You went first, I guess, as opposed to. Lyco. I would think that would make more sense. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, you. Come into a room that seems to be like, like a kind of conferency room, if you will. Like there's a big kind of long table, and um, could easily be a dining room, um, but there's no. If it was a dining room, it would have specific decorations like you know candelabras, etc., etc., all that nonsense. But this doesn't have anything like that. It's just a big long kind of, what looks like amethyst kind of slab table, um, in the center of the room. And the place is just covered in like dust and like plant growth on the ground, etc. Um, just the place is aged, right? Um, even if the table looks immaculate. So you can like push the giant light source in. And then, yeah, he's in this room. And she, like, she sits at the head of the table in what's clearly the biggest and best seat. And she kind of motions and she says, Make yourselves comfortable. Saturn, why not? Yeah. Why not, indeed? Everybody else, taking seats? Sure. Yeah. What do you do with SK? Do you prop um. her up in a chair or? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Uh, what should I do with SK? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be a bit much. Hmm. Put her on a chair so I can sit in her so I can reach the table. Wow. Wow. I was thinking of the pages. <laughs> I, uh. Play yellow, though. I just sat on the floor next to me. Okay. Yeah. Just kind of lower down by the side of the table. Cool. Uh, so yeah, 
the <laughs> Joy Queen then kind of gestures back to you, Zora, and says, Please continue. This seems more... She looks around and kind of like scrunches up her nose and kind of distaste. Fitting, I guess. Um... Let's just say there's a certain uh, general that wouldn't be too pleased if we got anywhere near that planet again. She kind of nods, and then she says, um, and this is the planet of Versus, yes? I would nod. She kind of like slowly nods. And she just like looks in deep thought kind of expecting there to have been more to the story um I mean that's not much it was the story <laughs> well there is um this is where I know so I would want to spoil the whole beans I, know, I mean how much do we actually know I, I, I'm afraid I can't off the top of my head recall I don't think you really know anything about like I probably know least because I was sort of elsewhere. Yeah, you actually haven't really had a chance to like chat about it. Nah, You've had like brief uh, conversations back and forth, I think. But let's just say there's a um, a little bit of a hostile takeover happening with my people, and you can, see her, you can see her smirking at that. Like, she goes, "Yes, I'm somewhat familiar with coups." Uh, I would nod, um, and it just so happens that the, the like land horses. What is the actually? What is his rank actually? Again, is it gen? Is he general? Is he a general? Well, I think I think ranks were more. Yeah. Although we didn't, we didn't have a rank. Yeah. Um, Do you not remember just his say, title? His title was yeah. his rank. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, brave epoch annihilator. <laughs> How do you translate that to old? Drake? I know, like. <laughs> I guess, like, it would be, like, an admiral or something, right? Like, I guess that would be, like, the best way for, like, somebody in this Yeah, he's kind of, like, commander-general, right? He's general-in-chief, right? Yeah. He's, he is the person who has been put in charge of the Pact World's campaign, if you would call mm. it that. That's his project. He's the project manager of that. <laughs> And let's just say that the, the leader of this coup is um, the one that doesn't want us to go out of it on that planet. And then she kind of thinks to herself and looks kind of down at the table and you can kind of see like she's like tracing things on the table with her, her fingernail and then um, she looks up and starts tapping her hand on the table. You can hear the clack of her nails, and she says, So this entity you speak of, this... And have you named him yet? Did you say to Mogesh, or have you just referred to him vaguely? Um, vaguely so far. Yeah. His name's Mogesh. This Mogesh, And you, you can clearly see she said this phonetically. <laughs> the, um... The end goal is what after a coup? A coup with who? Um, can't hierarchy of my people. Um, there's a lot going on back in the Viscarium. So, um, do you want me to do a timeout here and catch Nico up on what Nico knows? Um, remember, I mean, I think Morgesh I remember is officially in charge and is not planning yeah. a coup on anyone. Yes, yeah, right. right, right. It's your boss. Right, I know that. The Event right. Horizon is what, trying is to not coup like, basically Demogesh because Demogesh is going to attack, air quote, the Pact Worlds, right? That's what you've been told by yeah, I remember the Event he, Horizon. No, he was just getting like a lot of support in that matter. I don't remember him being yeah, like... Yeah, but it's because, obviously, officially, air quote, you are not at war. Right. Yep. Do you see how vague that is? Okay. Officially, right. oh, oh, the Viscarium, bye. the vague leadership of the Viscarium, have sent Demogesh in there. Everyone's friends, though. 
everybody's friends. Look how friendly everybody is. You can tell how friendly they are because everybody's baring their teeth at each other. And then uh, Demogesh was like, cool, we're here to help. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, hey, and then oh, the Event Horizon said to you, so, um, yeah, kill him before he causes the actual war we don't want to fight until we've won the Swarm War. Right, right. Cool. Gotcha. Gotcha. Because yeah. if Demogesh can take this galaxy... Or this solar system, sorry. I get my terms right. If he can take this solar system, he could just leave the rest of the Viscarium if he wanted to, to fight the swarm. But maybe Demogesh, because I think that's where Nico thinks that's the divide, but maybe Demogesh just thinks the Viscarium can take on everybody. I mean, yeah. Which I don't Matva, think that's a very vis Yeah, Matva, your boss, was quite definitively like, we cannot win both wars. We want to finish one and then redirect resources to the other. Yeah. Obviously, she never said you couldn't win both wars because no, no Vesk would admit that. But, both had, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is what you will remember from your meeting with Matva, aka the Event Horizon. Okay. So, I guess to explain what the situation, you probably need a brief. History lesson in the last, like, how long? She just raises, long, like, an eyebrow and leans back in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> to put a long story short, my people and your people, and, well, all the people in our system, quite frankly, were at war with each other. Um, swarm appeared. Don't know if you know what the swarm is. Assume Probably I, not. I assume I don't. It will save feeling patronised. <laughs> Um, imagine an entity that just wants nothing but to eat everything that it sees, and that's a swarm, to put it lightly. And these are your people. Ha ha ha, no. No. Um, the reason that our people and, well, all of your people would kind of wave to the table. <laughs> Uh, stopped the war was because of the swarm. Right. And it so just so happens that the hungry Demogesh things wants to st stopped yep. a war. Yeah. Are they in charge now? Um, not quite. We're holding them back. We being the Viscarium. But I love the idea that like so many other races, military generals would just roll their eyes and they don't understand why. Get that statement. <laughs> <laughs> Only the Viscarium are fighting the swarm. I mean, it's a very best way to think yeah, about it, right? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> totally valid. Yeah. Um, I mean, to, I probably don't care what other people. To be are fair, saying. to prove otherwise, you'd have to go fight the swarm, really. So, yeah, good luck. Yeah. For that, mm. um, and this double gesh, he strives to begin the war once more. I don't think the war really ever stopped for him, quite frankly. And this is the war with everyone, and she kind of like vaguely gestures to the other side of the table. Who I imagine I like Zora's on one side and everybody else is on the other for some reason. I would not. Uh, um, you can see she's got a look on her face. Where she's clearly got a question. Also, Colin, what are your noises? That's a good question. Wherever they are, bend them. They are bend. <laughs> they are bend. It's an ad that noise. Um, continue. I apologise. So she's got like a look on her face where she clearly wants to ask something, but obviously isn't interrupting. Um. And the part of it was the began a coup is um well hmm, I may or may not have um kind of signed this up. This is a spectacle perhaps squint at him. <laughs> 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 yes, we want to assassinate double gesh. Mm -hmm. I would as I get squinted at. Mm. You wish to kill your leader? Well, 
Jeff, when your leader wants to bring your entire <clears throat> race into annihilation. Yeah. So you're saying Absolutely. your people cannot win this war? Um, not while well fighting this war, but at the same time. I see. So your people are using their people to win your war against them. And she kind of like looks at you guys on the other side of the table as if, like, why? Um. <laughs> right? Do I ask you? Why are you fighting this war? Uh, it's a necessity. I uh, have been asked to keep an eye on this for the uh, assassination. I suppose. No, for a, a group known as the Stewards, I, I suspect I'll have to explain that, but briefly, oh. uh, they are, their, their role is to enforce the pact. That is the peace between the worlds. And a major figurehead of the Vesk, having inserted himself into pact worlds, uh, politics in such a way uh, which has been obviously difficult for the local authorities to and these pact worlds are the solar systems people including the Viscarium no this for solar systems people and also they're currently aligned or rather uh, in a truce with, due to the uh, ongoing swarm concern, uh, but the, the Pact Worlds would only be this solar system. And who are the swarm aligned with? Nothing. Hunger. So you're saying they were the, they're stake and this is the most noble? The most primal. She like grins, and you see her like slightly sharper than normal teeth when you say that, mm -hmm. and then she like quickly hides her smile. The difference between the Vesk and the Swarm is that you can't reason with the latter. It's the the Vesk are well, <laughs> no no offense, meant Captain, but they are a fiercely proud martial race who put a lot of stock in conquest. But they are thinking creatures, they are intelligent creatures, and they can look at a situation and know that it is hopeless. Uh, the swarm goes forward regardless. The cost of it is irrelevant. The swarm is not going to enter a truce with anyone, so if you can't beat the swarm... You have to compromise on your other wars. The Viscarium, as the captain has made clear, is as much aware of that as the Pact Worlds. She's just kind of so looking between the two. Yeah, she, so she's just <laughs> looking between the two groups, obviously, at the table, because it's kind of... The visual is obviously maybe on her left is Zora. And then on her right is everybody else. And it's just this kind of visual of her looking between the two. As if she's trying to put this crazy base jigsaw together. And then... Um, yeah, then... What is it Zora says? Uh, oh, I was just like... When he was saying that... Um, even a Vescarium can recognise that... Fighting the part towards in this moment at the same time. A bad idea, I just says... Yeah, um, even if they don't like the admit it. And of course, uh, the current situation in the Pact Worlds is one of sudden and unexpected instability. Why is this? You mentioned this before, I believe. The fall of what is perhaps the cultural and economic government, as well to an extent, hub of Pact. Absalom Station. 
like the kind of ah yes kind of look goes across her face because she remembers the conversation he's had about the island Absalom. <laughs> so we uh, and she just literally done with so yeah and she says so <laughs> so if I have gathered the pieces correctly, you follow a captain who ultimately wishes to conquer your species. And she just looks at you three. I would actually chuckle at that, to be honest. <laughs> In my defense, that's kind of the default for androids usually. Is it now? And she kind of just looks at you quizzically, I guess. <laughs> Like, there's no, like, distaste, there's, it's just kind of a bit of a puzzled face she's got, considering she's not really sure why you work together. <laughs> Whereas... I was just kind of chuckle at like, what she said. It was mm -hmm. like, don't get me wrong, I'm not part of Iscarium any longer. I was. Um... Yet you have orders to assassinate this Demogesh. Who do these orders come from? Ah, uh, they're not quite orders, they're more... Self-interest. She just like screws up her face at you, like. Didn't you just? I've taken order? a liking to the system. I see. So uh, is, as you say, in your self-interest, your own self-preservation. Uh, How reptilian. I would kind of take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's meant blankly, right? So, like, she never so like. Thank her, you. Her, like her tone is never one of like dismissal, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, it is mostly her kind of trying to learn. Um, so she's trying to take everything as as she hears it, but some of it's kind of tricky um, to hear. <laughs> Whereas the situation on my end is a little complicated by my uh, generally being excluded from the working definition of human. Yes, your and biology is intriguing. It's, uh... It does not put me at odds with the pact worlds. The pact is of obvious importance, but it does give me something of a Outsider's perspective. She just blinks once, staring at you. And you see like a kind of purple shine to her eyes. Ooh. Yeah, just again, the light hitting it maybe. I am and she kind of stares at you. And she says Have you sought out some form of she kind of like looks you up and down briefly, as if, how do I say this without insulting him? <laughs> Remedy. And she kind of smiles to herself with the word choice. The question has been asked. There does not appear to be any such remedy. And yet you remain. This is intriguing. My condition is difficult. You're not quite uh, undead. I have purged my fair share of undead filth. You have a different scent. He's not really filth either. I appreciate your saying so. Who do you turn to to say that? Both of them? <laughs> Puts um, both hands up. I appreciate you saying so. <laughs> to to me, sort of said with, with a sort of knowing smile. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I belong to a particular subtype, which is less understood than most. Uh, if anyone understands it, it very likely would be the Bone Sages of Eox, but... Uh, well, they weren't eager to share, and my attempts to gain information from them were cut short by the uh, the many wars. Event. I imagine more the you one. Can she ongoing. said that like flippantly. So I mean, <laughs> it's uh, 
evident that the uh, situation in Eox is somewhat changed due to the return of Urkalas? Am I saying that right? Is that it? That sounds correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's, you let's you, you see, up, like right. again, like her attention was maybe like slightly drifting, not in a rude way, but more in a, you know, when somebody's thinking, they don't look you in the eyes necessarily. And when you see Urgalas, she just darts back to your kind of like direct vision, if you will, eye tie contact. Okay. And she says, "You realize that translates. I actually understand this." I was under the impression was a name, although I suppose many names have meanings. Yes. I believe it translates in... And she kind of looks at you all, what passes for a common tongue. Because obviously your version of common is probably going to be many variations of whatever she would have called common. Mm. So, really she's doing her best to translate who knows how many years worth of um, dialect changes. And she says... I believe the word translates to eternity. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's huh. ominous. From a fourth wall point of view, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> or just generally. But I also, yes. <laughs> Give me back my fragments. Fr says, from atop the fourth <laughs> wall, would you say? Um, and she says... Um, Ominous? In what way? Well, this entity, and I, I call it an entity because it is more like a psychic manifestation of a personality than it is a <laughs> biological creature. Uh, its she motives are <laughs> unclear. It's certainly aligned itself against the uh, undead of Eox. And, uh, and Eox it has is taken... dead now. Eox is undead. I see. Urgalas is an Elibrian name. It is an Elibrian name after a fashion. As I say, it doesn't really appear to be a physical creature. She kind of like leans it back and she starts like... Presumably you know, was like, one. Tapping like her kind of like bottom lip. Or like her finger and her nail. As she's kind of like just thinking to herself. As you keep obviously explaining. We had a number of encounters with it. And that creature was the one which was... Responsible for the events at Absalom, which have caused this period of, uh, yeah, instability. I thought things were bad in my day. This seems much more complex. The situation has gotten a little, uh, untenable. She probably scans the table for that word a bit, and then kind of just nods twice. Things are clearly on the verge of falling apart, and unfortunately for for our for our little crew, we've been partly due to the captain's connections, partly due to circumstance, and also partly due to my own and. Uh, Young Zig here, we have all been. She turns and just smiles at Zig. To varying degrees, dragged. Like awkwardly into smiles. Events beyond our understanding. You're, you've taken to the rat, I see. <laughs> she's like. Everyone does like her. She does like smirk. That. <laughs> like who shrugs. And she's got that kind of. You know, like when you visit your gran and she smiles at you type look <laughs> if you get on nah, with your gran. Nah, the dead. Is. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know more than most people then when you go there in there. That's more of a, of a grimace. <laughs> so, um, that's horrible. <coughs> so, okay, we'll, we'll edit uh, that in post. Ages, I don't... <laughs> we'll edit that in post. <laughs> I, um... I love my grants. They were good. Let me do Dark Finder 2.0. We'll uh, have a much Going term family idea. issues. Um, but yeah, so she kind of smiles at that. And uh, yeah, like. Obviously, like oh, you say, you know, you've taken to the rat, and then next five says everyone does. Is there any follow up between you two on that? I, I, I again was just kind of like sort of like shrug, shrugging a shrug of agreement to mm-hmm. be clear. Like he's not saying mm-hmm. I don't get it. Obviously, he is quite fond of, quite fond of the young guy. Um, he's mm-hmm. definitely like there's definitely a, a, a degree with with Lyco of like. You know, this is a kid we've got to look after, <laughs> but he is fond of him. Um, He's our baby Yoda. I was yeah. actually looking for <laughs> a gif <laughs> as we saw. Mandaloritos, uh, or uh, <laughs> Mandaloriano. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I very much uh, I think that that probably does apply. Yeah. El Mandaloradora. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what I love more is that Zig became the pilot and obviously Baby Yoda clearly likes piloting um, <laughs> which is awesome um, sadly I was looking for a specific gif that I actually can't find which is annoying but oh well oh. yeah it was going to be a, a very nice Lyco and uh, Zig moment but I'm just going to settle for this instead here we go. Sorted. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I have to watch that at some point, but I don't want to spend money on Disney fucking Mega Disney or whatever it is. Disney yeah. Plus. Yeah, that's, uh... Disney Extreme. <laughs> Disney Extreme. It's okay, I found what I was looking for. I'm going to link this. So the adult okay. version. There we go. Oh, wait, there's there definitely go. an audience for that, let's be honest. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yeah, that's, I like that. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> so anyway, I like that. It's good. So good. good. Uh, right. So um, yes, back in the weird meeting room with the amethyst table, the drag queen, the, the kind of cool air to the place, and uh, do you know what? It's, it's got the cool air of a tomb. There you go. That's probably a bit. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Very spooky. Yeah, and it's um, you've got the light in the corner from where you have left the egg at the bottom of the table. <laughs> Essentially, you've got a nice rolling lamp. Like I, uh, I think it, like just uh, as we're having this conversation, like uh, escape furler sort of slips down a bit, and, like I or, like kind of like try to slightly lean over without drawing attention to myself and proper back up. <laughs> yeah, like almost like you go to scratch your ankle type idea, but you go and yeah, yeah. just adjust her. Great. She's oh, probably no, sat, like, n- between you and Nyx, let's face it, right? Mm-hmm. She's probably, like, just maybe behind your chairs there or something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, I think um, as you kind of, like, come back up to the table, but, like, in the sense, like, you kind of, like, lean down, adjust her, lean back up a bit. She goes, is your friend comfortable? <laughs> I, you know, I'd like to think so. (laughs) (laughs) And she kind of, um, just kind of, she looks very impassive, right? The Drow Queen, obviously, not really showing much in the way of whatever she's thinking. And she says, Isabel was new when she set up my account. With the bank. You knew her. Her girl was older than she looked. Her eyes dart to you again, Nick Swive, and she says, I knew a lot of people. And obviously that's where we say we play the same chords in the music that played when she says you don't remember me. Do you? Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Yeah. I find it kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I find it kind of sad. <laughs> oh dear. 
<sighs> so yeah. She says, sadly resurrection was never one of my gifts, unfortunately. Mm. You don't happen to know anyone. And then um, she sits and she also kind of looks at you and says, the Lady of Graves is in charge of that domain. Sure. Surely the bank has some sort of insurance policy in place for this. Maybe S. Kate knows. They... I think everybody uh, turns yeah. and looks at you. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would. I... I wouldn't try asking. Yeah. I I I go up to SK and I cast grave words. No. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't love a bit of necromancy. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay. Where are we? What's happening? A casual necromancy. All about that necro. Okay, can you roll a d100? I can. Will you though? <laughs> Try to stop him. <laughs> That's okay. not a good. So, you go up, you touch her, yes. cast a spell. What does it look like when you cast a spell? Um, it it just it kind of like how. The like healing and stuff has that pulsating sort of like you know he glows a bit. Mm -hmm. It's like that, but he doesn't glow. But it, it's it's as if he was glowing. If you know what I mean. That doesn't make sense. I know he's got um, anti glow. Anti glow. It's like the after effect, like the after image thing. Yeah. Former. Zip. Um. Yes. Um. And um. He just puts his hand out. He puts his head down, and he just kind of mumbles a little bit. And that's that's it. Yeah, and nothing, nothing as flashy as the other spells. Yeah, and you use the use the spell. You touch the body, and nothing happens. You don't even feel the magic, like connecting. <gasps> it's like you did this to a chair, for lack of a better way of describing the feeling you'd have. Because no doubt, it's like one hundred percent tried to do this to other objects. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Like I'm like everything. <laughs> so, um, just to be clear, it wouldn't work in a wooden chair. You wouldn't be able to speak to the tree. No, a tree is not a corpse. Maybe a cosp, but not a corpse. The tree wow. after you burnt it. Um, <laughs> Trees are people too. Um, I think at that Zig would kind of like you know try opening her eye and looking in it and like examining her a bit more closely. Um. How are you doing this? With what skill are you employing? It's uh, a good question. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no. I think what he would do is kind of try and sense, because he's very familiar with what her sort of magical mm -hmm. yeah. presence was like. So I think he would try and kind of focus in on that and try and see because even even if you're dead you still got a little bit of you know something something the boogie something something <laughs> Resi residual spooky stuff residual boogie yeah and of all the people in the party you're very familiar with her residuality you've in yeah. fact built a device to detect it this is true yes um so i guess this is a great device Getting spoopy in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. Um. Like, absolutely nothing. She's hmm. Not. You've always there. got to take magic, right? Oh yeah, I do have to take magic. I should have done that. That's what I meant. That was actually what I meant to do, it doesn't matter. Ignore that. They accidentally hit my attack, though! <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
It's um, mundane, the body. No hint of magic at all. She's um, there's she's she's like, it's as if she's been completely emptied. She's not there. Could do life sciences as well if you wanted to. Just keep going. Um. I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're not so great at those. <laughs> what do you mean? She not so great at those. I mean, I could just throw all, just like, everything, acrobatics. Oh, well, um, Nix is saying, uh, "What do you I mean think she's not there. there?" She's there's there's nothing. She's she's not not even not even a a court. She's not. She never was. She's she's inanimate. Can I go over and inspect as well? Yeah. Uh, so when you're saying inanimate, an I'm getting all sorts of ideas about yeah, androidiness or yeah, simulacrums yeah. and things. Um, is that life science, do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give that a go. You can do it like a wee once over. Fifteen. That's a body. It's a body. An actual body. It's a body. Yep. You poke it, mm. it does the reaction you'd think it would do, which is not much, because it's dead. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a dead body. Yep. Uh, Doesn't seem like anything at all to you. Yeah. I mean, it's a body. I think to learn more, you know you'd no. probably need like a lab, put it that way. I think that's really what that, oh, that role translates yes. into, is you know you don't know much. Mm. I think we've ascertained that she is, in fact, not alive, but what are we hoping to achieve here? I thought we might bring our friend back. Your friend gave her a life in service of her god. I think it's how she wanted to go. And she's saying it directly to you, Nix Five. I understand. That's just. I feel we have a responsibility here. Hmm. I would offer you the service of the Lamentation Chamber, however, I do not know if it has survived the years. She looks kind of miffed at that. <laughs> Lamentable. She kind of just rolls her eyes. <laughs> they scream. Obviously. They scream. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> next five. Next five point one has puns. <laughs> That's uh. what he installed. <laughs> <laughs> that was my level eight upgrade. Yeah, it's coping mechanisms. Uh. <laughs> Gallows humor. Oh dear. The only humor he has. <laughs> so yeah, I think. The drag queen kind of stands up from the table, the big kind of marble, like I say marble, so the big amethyst kind of seat scraping on the floor. And um, she just kind of like walks behind the chair and kind of like leans on it and holds on to it as if thinking. Like rests her chin and then like her like hands leaning on the, the backs of the chair. That's everything else up Here to. is... Zig at this particular I think Zig's leaning over escape, right? He's probably about yeah. So you're right next to me. So I imagine that Lycra's um, in the yes, middle, and then to your left was Zig, and to your right was. Max. I will lean down to Zig and uh, very quietly. I wouldn't recommend necromancy as a career path, kid. And then give him a quick pat on the top of the head. <laughs> and then just. Look over to the queen as if I'd said nothing. <laughs> um, Zig, Zig kind of looks a little embarrassed. Um, kind of just like scratches like the side of his face a little bit and kind of goes back to his chair quietly and doesn't say anything, keeps his head down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've embarrassed the child. And I think, like, uh -huh. like, while kind of staring off into like nothingness, like the middle distance, if you will, uh, the drag queen with her, like, like chin still in her hands as she's kind of like leaning into this chair says just without really moving very casually just like 
Don't listen to him, kid. And she just like repeats your inflections as well, like so. She says, he seems to have done okay by it. Okay. Like, kind of looks up you, with his like, eyes. You could have um, been mistaken. That's you referring to me? If you listened yeah. to it, you would have think like you would have thought it's a Lyco impression. She just did. Yeah. Like uh -huh. without realizing she said it, you could have assumed Lyco said it. Like she reverbed her voice enough to get his tones. Not quite perfect mimic though, but definitely yeah, yeah. a decent impression. And she said it kind of to the the general direction of both you and like Lyco and Zig, but she is staring off into space, basically. She's not really paying attention to anything, oh, okay. but she's clearly heard that. It's just, she's kind of just making a point about how you exist through necromancy. Lyco. Yeah. Got killed by a necromancer. It happens. She kind of stands up at that, and then just as if, you know, waking up a bit and kind of coming to it. Says, did you kill this necromancer? No, he, uh... He was taken down by my colleagues long before I, uh... Resuscitated. I see. These are scratches, look at his, uh... Cheek a little bit, like... Not quite scratching his stubble, because I kind of have the impression that he just kind of has permanent, like, five o'clock yeah. shadow rather than actual stubble. Yeah, like, it's never, um, it never needs shade because it never really moves. Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. But that that, that, that kind of impression, because um, I'm trying to remember, but it was, I think, it was a little while before he resurrected. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't instantaneous. I think he, I think, let me just check, actually, so I can get... Yeah, I think you woke up on a gurney, didn't you? Yeah, I it. definitely woke up like, in the morgue. <laughs> yep. Three days! Of course yeah. it was three days! Of course. Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be <laughs> Oh, uh, dear. Sorry, I think that's my personality shining through like a little bit there. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so he, he had been long taken care of. Like, I think basically as soon as as soon as soon he died, it was the, the, the sort of the, the backup was on him and he was gunned down because... Although a powerful necromancer, a man is a man. Enough bullets will do the job. Um, so yeah, that that was uh, he 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 re he, res he resuscitated in storage. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. haven't been specific, but yeah, he was he he, he would probably have been in a morgue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think um, is there anything like said audibly to the uh, the room itself? I would leave it at that because I don't think I've told much about any of this to the. Yeah, to I don't the really think I talk about this a great deal anyway. Um, yeah, because I think we we spoke about this many sessions ago about yeah. what Lyco would likely casually talk about, and I think we agreed, even though it might not be a sore spot, it's something that you know has screwed you over. Obviously, yeah, he doesn't. He, I think, I think he blames really everything to an extent on that. Do you and, have like, uh, a religion check or anything uh, that you can do for me just now? Religion check? Or whatever the equivalent of that I would be. Do, I have no idea, right? Maybe culture. Culture makes yeah. sense, yeah. I can. Yeah, let me let me. I'd even let say me mysticism, culture. right? Just mysticism? Just controversial. Like, <laughs> what, what do you... Uh, mm. I'll ask for GM's ruling in this, and I, I, I will state my culture rule is liable to be very good. My mysticism rule Either or. No, I said either or. You can pick whatever one. I don't mind which one you pick. I feel because he's not very mystically inclined, it makes sense that it should be mysticism, because this isn't playing to strengths. I I don't know though, because it could just be from a cultural background. You understand what I'm about to say, so you can pick what one you want to roll. I really don't mind. Um, he's got the you know book of undead idioms. <laughs> I get a, a bonus to mysticism too, so it's not going to be an awful roll, probably. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen. There you go. Yeah. Um, the Lady of Graves is Phrasma that she's referring to directly, so I don't know if that right, yes. this maybe got okay. your back up a little bit. That would make sense. Yeah. No, I, w I wouldn't know that. I might, maybe I wouldn't know the specific name, but yeah, I probably would. I think, yeah. Yeah. Um, enough to like maybe go, wait a minute, that's clearly going to be blah. Yeah. Yeah, that will ruffle my, my feathers a little yeah. bit. Yeah, okay. given your barai nature. 
Yeah. And I think, obviously, that's like a kind of little thing that's maybe playing through your mind. It's maybe only came up now, you know, maybe it's that wasn't your immediate thought because you were busy trying to be like, well, this is a slightly awkward situation. Yeah. And I don't, I get the impression she doesn't know enough about my kind. Yeah, she's she just, probably knows nothing about She's them, clearly just got a weird be. vibe from you, right? So she's yeah. been able to comment, and that's been about it. You might mm-hmm. think as well with her little kind of, you know, violet eyes, perhaps she's uh, picked up a bit more about you uh, than she's let on. Yeah. But yeah, she's definitely... There um, was something perhaps going on there, yeah. Yeah, she's... They were noted, to be fair. Yeah, and it's... um, She's obviously just going to try and suss out all of you guys, right? Let's face it. Um, yeah. Always have a nice sit-down chat with her. But she's obviously she's standing kind of like slightly more nobly, I guess, now. Oh, um, instead of leaning over our table and she says, um, I would like to continue this conversation, but I feel you will be more comfortable discussing your details and particulars if I can at least prove that I can hold up my end of our agreement and get you to Akaton. Allow me to fetch you some form of star vessel and I will allow you to decide if you wish to leave instantaneously or wish to stay longer and discuss more. This could be the start of an alliance. Hmm. She leaves that hanging Hmm. there and then there's a horrible scream Hmm. to the point where it kind of sounds like someone Hmm. has stabbed a T-Rex with a megaphone. I can't even conceive of what that would sound like, but okay. And we'll take our break there. I did have a megaphone <laughs> as well. Oh. <laughs> yep. We're gonna take I did have a megaphone. Callum. Say goodbye, everybody. I was like, I don't know where it is. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.